give this thing a little test. See how well this thing is in sync now. I think these fans are blowing the wrong way. No, they're sucking. That's sucking too. So... They're both going the right direction, all four of them. I can't tell with that fan. Yeah, that one's blowing the right way too. So, there's one fan there, one fan there, one fan there, and one fan there. And hopefully, the fans on the back look like they're, yeah. There I go, not tightening the wheels again. Deja vu. I really should get in the habit of uh, tightening these wheels when I put them on. But I just kind of loosely put them on because I was testing. All the wheels are loose. Gotta find a better wrap, uh, wrench for that. I'm wondering if I should change out this steering servo. Somebody was telling me that uh, my steering wasn't gonna hold up. But the only way it won't hold up by doing it this way is if you don't set your endpoints. I set my endpoint to where it barely touches that wire. That's my endpoint. Oh, shouldn't hit the trigger. But I set my endpoints each direction so I don't overextend it because what'll happen is I'll show you when I turn it off. So if I don't have my endpoint set, especially going this direction, it will actually go backwards, you see? 
So you definitely, when doing the steering servo this way, you have to set your end point to where it won't overextend both directions. So if I set my end point to there, it won't go back. It'll actually flip around. So you have to set your end points when uh, doing a setup like this. Put them both on at the same time. If they'll actually be in sync. I see the lights are blinking the same time. Oh. Okay. Maybe that's what I should do. Turn them on and then turn my controller on. Because now they're exactly the same. See, and that's way more responsive. See, like right there, only that motor's going. That motor's not. Look at that. See? So this motor is definitely out of sync. That's the motor trying to spin right there. See how that's green? That signal's not. See how they're, they're blinking different? Pulsing one, pulsing one, pulsing one. That's strange. Let me try something else. Turn my controller off. Turn both of these off. Seems like when I give it very little throttle, it threw them out of sync. Now I'll turn my controller on. Now they're blinking the same. the lights get out of sync One is trying to go and one's not. So it's like this second one, I have to turn up the timing. Either that or the signal's weak on the Y. Because that's the main one with the power. But if I barely give it any throttle, That one will try to go and that one's not. That's strange. But maybe I should turn up timing or signal or... I think the signal strength to this second one might be different. I don't know. Don't know. Just things running through my head. See, and the key marks are still on the same side. Everything's still tight. So, I don't know. 
But that's kind of weird the way the ESCs work back and forth. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, I'm back again. So I wanted to recap the last video and this video. I'm going to power up this ESC for you real quick. And there's a reason I've been going through what I've been going through. As you guys have seen, I have, uh, I have now taken the motor out. I've listened to some suggestions out there. And uh, I tried to do what, it, what some people have said, motor timing. Um, brushless motors, the motor timing, there's nothing you can do between this motor and this motor to put them in, in any kind of phase. Um, I got a few comments on that, that, oh, you're overheating because your motors aren't in phase. And it kind of made sense. So I went ahead and pulled the motors out, checked my mesh on both the motors. And then, you know, one comment even said, oh, you need to stick power to the same two wires to center the motors to get them in the same position um, to put them into time. So... It kind of made sense to me because a motor is just a motor. It doesn't care how much current is going through it, whether it's one volt or 10,000 volts. It really don't care unless you sustain that voltage for a long period of time. And then it's either going to burn up the coil winding or in this case, when running three, it's going to overspin it and grenade the case. So a motor doesn't really care how much power is put to it. That's why we can take a 6S motor, sometimes put 8S to it. Some people won't run cars as hard. Some people will put small tires on them. Some people will put big tires in them and overload the system. But regardless, the difference between this motor and this motor, 1700 kV and 1700 kV, it doesn't care. So, I took it apart, put power to the wires just to show that yes, the motors will center because... They're just going to center to those magnets, whatever the magnets are telling it to do. But it's not timing the motor at all. All it's doing is turning the armature, or not armature, uh, the center shaft, the coil winding, because this is an inboard motor. So it's just going to turn it to that position of whatever's powered up, whether I power up these two, whether I power up these two. It doesn't really care. Um, I didn't mind doing it because... It's not going to ruin the motors because I use a 2S LiPo. It's small voltage, and I'm not going to sustain the voltage. I'm not going to hold it there until the thing heats up. Heat is what's going to kill your motor. And I know I have a problem because when I'm out running this thing with this gear ratio, they're overheating within five minutes. They're at 180, 190 degrees. That's too hot, especially for a motor that's supposedly dividing the power. So, in turn, this is what I noticed. These are brand new out of the box, and I set them both up the same. I plugged them into the castle link. I checked um, voltages. I, I checked trigger. I checked everything to make sure that the numbers are identical. Even the waveforms, after I ran it, they looked identical. I can't overlap the, the waveforms, which sucks. I can't take one screen and overlap it onto another. I don't know of a way I can using Castle Link, so that's the only thing I can't do. But I noticed when I was hitting the trigger, at very light trigger, one ESC, meaning this one, was turning on before this one. Right there. That one's turning green. That one's not. And that's very, very light trigger. So that's telling me, let me turn this thing off because it's kind of loud. So that's telling me that the remote isn't synced to these ESCs. It's what it's telling me. Is that they're, they're seeing a different number. So, but before I did all that, I ended up changing all the bearings, checking resistance, checking motor timing, checking all these different things. I thought I had a bearing failure somewhere. I thought I had high resistance somewhere because for a 23 tooth pinion with two motors and a 51 tooth spur, 
this thing should not be getting hot. I mean, I, I run a, a, a 50, 21 or 22 in my regular infraction without dual motors. So it had me baffled to the point where I added two more fans on this side, which I just finished grafting onto this ESC when I was doing the supposedly motor timing um, or phasing, as uh, some called it. Um, I was working on trying to get two more fans installed onto this motor because the ser my steering servo was in the way. So I did get two more motors on it. And while I was doing the video, um, the second part to this video on motor timing and checking heats, that's when I noticed that this ESC was coming on before this ESC. So your best friend is definitely a timing or a heat gun. Go out and buy yourself a heat gun. Whenever you build a new RC, I don't care who it is. For me, running a 2351 could not overheat, but for somebody else who bashes hard, it could. So whenever you're out there building a new RC, testing anything, don't take anybody's word for it. Get yourself a heat gun. Check your motor temps and constantly monitor them when you're running your ESC. So I just wanted to bring that up that I finally found my issue. Now I got to find a correction for it. Um, as soon as I find a correction for it, um, I'll let you guys know. But it definitely was no motor timing or motor phasing or gear mesh. It's definitely the ESCs are coming on at different times. All right, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.